Fighting fires can cost a lot more than people think. The equipment firefighters need can surpass hundreds of thousands of dollars. In Houston County, the fire department is fundraising and asks people in the unincorporated areas to chip in. Kalisha Moore took a trip to the department and shows you just how their shopping list is adding up. At the Houston County Fire Department, 70 paid and volunteer staff are ready to jump into action at any moment. Our call volume has increased tenfold. But to take action, the staff has to be well equipped, and the equipment they need can cost thousands. So purchasing that equipment, that's one of the additional things that we do off of this uh, fundraiser. Is, is keep that kind of stuff going. To serve and keep the millage rates low, Chief Chris Stoner says they host an annual fundraiser. It's one way that we try to help keep the taxes low. Our department is solely funded from a fire tax in the unincorporated areas of the county, so we don't receive any money from the general tax. This year they're asking for a few things, and the prices may surprise you. Uniforms, $3,500 each. A washer and dryer that remove cancerous materials from those uniforms, $8,000. And for the air tanks that help firefighters breathe, $39,000. That's a pretty, pretty immense cost. Brad Nybrand was a firefighter once himself. Now he works on restoration after the fire is out. We come in and help the families try to put their lives back together and get back to some sort of normalcy. We specialize in fire, mold, and water mitigation. He's even done fundraising for the department and says each dollar really counts. And most people go through their entire life and never need the fire department. But I promise you, when that day comes, you're going to be glad that you supported them and that they have the equipment they need to help either save your life or your structure, your home. And Kathleen Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Now, the last time the department held a fundraiser, they raised about $60,000. This time, they're hoping they can pass that. If you're interested in donating, you can drop off the money at the department directly or by mail. You can also find a link on their Facebook page.